I'm going to look in some detail at exam questions to do with histograms. Now a histogram is a graphical way of illustrating grouped data and it consists of bars and a bar has three different quantities. There is the area of the bar, there is the width of the bar and there is the height of the bar. And as for all rectangles, the width times the height will give you the area. Now in a histogram, the area is the quantity which represents the frequency. So a lot of the calculations are to do with trying to either work out the area if you know the width and the height, or work out the width if you know the height and the area, or work out the height if you know the area and the width. But the important thing to understand is this is the area that represents the frequency. So in this question where we have to draw some histograms, we're given the frequency, we're given the group for the areas, so the first thing we need to work out is how wide the bar is going to be. And this is called the class width. And the class width is just the upper boundary, take away the lower boundary. So the class width there is 20, take away 0, which is 20. 50, take away 20, which is 30. 100, take away 50, which is 50. And 300, take away 100, which is 200. So I know how wide my bars are going to be. The frequency tells me what the area is going to be. So I can use those two to find out the height my bar has got to be. And my height is the frequency divided by the class width. So the height of the first bar is 50 divided by 20, which is 2.5. The second bar is 90 divided by 30, which is 3. The next bar is 120 divided by 50, which is 2.4. And the last bar is 160 divided by 200, which is 0.8. So to illustrate this information on the diagram, we first will have to check we know what's happening with the scale. So we want the first bar to be 2.5 high. So two big squares is one unit. Another two big squares is two units. So 2.5 will be at that point there. And then we need the class width to go from 0 to 20. From this scale, we can see where 50 is. So that thick line would represent 25. So 20 will be on the little square just before that. So to do this first bar, we start from 20 and take this line up to the 2.5 point, draw it across, and there is the first bar. And this first bar, its width is 20, its height is 2.5. 20 times 2.5 gives you the 50. So the area of that bar represents the 50 from the frequency diagram. The second bar goes from 20 to 50. So it's going to start at 20 and go to 50. And the height of it is going to be 3. So I'm going to start from 50, draw up to 3, and then I have to complete the bar from this side up to three and then join across the top. So this time the width of my bar is 30, my height is three. So in here I've got 30 times three which represents my 90. The third bar goes from 50 to 100 and it's going to be 2.4 high. So 50 to 100 is easy to work out. 2.4 is going to be four little squares up. So my 2.4 will be there and it's got to go all the way along to 100. There's the 100. Draw the bar down. So this time I have got 
50 times 2.4, which gives me a frequency area of 120. And then my last bar goes from 100 to 300, and it's got to go up to 0.8. So 100 to 300, it's going to be a very, very long bar, and it's going to go up to 0.8. So it's 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.
Now the 10 is easy, that's there. 4.5, just be careful in identifying where 4.5 is. There's 4, there's 6, so that point is 5. So 4.5 is roughly in the middle of those two. So it's somewhere round about there. So we want to find the area that shaded that little bit and then all of this. Now let's do the big block first. For the big block, our class width here goes from 6 to 10, so that class width is 4. Using our scale, 30 is here, and that's 40, so each little square is 2 units, so the height of this bar is 30, 32, 34. So the big block, the area, is 4 lots of 34, which is 136. So there's 136 trees in that block there. This little bit between four and a half and six. So between four and a half and six is one and a half. So there, the width is one and a half. The height is 10, 12, 14, 16. So this time we need to do one and a half multiplied by 16 which is 24, add those two together and we have 160 trees. The second part of the question says there are 75 trees with heights in the interval 10 to 13. Use this information to complete the histogram. So we know the class width, it starts at 10 and it goes to 13. So the width along the bottom will be 3. We know we want the area to be 75, so the height is 3 times something is 75, and it's 3 times 25 is 75. So coming up here, we need to find where 25 is. So it's 10, 20, 25 is there. So 25 is halfway up here. There's the 25 mark, and I'm going to take that along to where 13 would be and then draw down so that area would represent the 75 trees okay the incomplete table and histogram show information about the weights of some books so here we have a mixture of information given in a table and information given on a histogram and we have to match the two together and we have to use the information in the histogram to complete the table now, the only full bit of information we've got, we've got a bar here drawn from 0 to 1, but we don't know what the frequency is. And we have a bar here drawn from 1 to 2.5, and we do know the frequency, so we do know that this block represents 36 trees. And we also know that there, your class width is 1.5. So, to work out where it is on the axis, we have to work out 36 divided by 1.5 and that will give you the height. So the height of this bar here is 24. Now having got that height we can work out the scale. If that's 24 then that's 5, 10, 12 squares, so each tiny tiny square is 2 units, so that's going to represent 10 that's going to represent 20, that's going to represent 30, and so on. So this, the first box here, it's one unit wide, it's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 units high, so the number of trees in here is 18 times 1, which is 18 trees. So there's 18 trees in that first block. So we've now completed the table, and now we have to use the table to complete the histogram. First we'll work out the class width. And the first class width goes from 2.5 to 4, so the class width is 1.5. The second one goes from 4 to 6, so the class width is 2. For the height of the bar, we do frequency over class width. So 57 divided by 1.5 is 38 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. 
So the next bar on the histogram, it starts at 2.5, it goes to 4, and it's got to be quite a tall one, it's got to go up to 38. So there's 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. It's going to go up to there. So I need a bar drawn up to 38. I need to increase this height up to 38 and then join across the top of the bar. So there's my 57 books in the next block. The last block goes from 4 to 6, that's so quite a wide bar, and it's going to go up to 12. So here's 10, that's 12. So we draw a line at 12 and a line down to 6. And that's the 24 books from that block. So we've used the information to complete the table and we've used the information in the table to complete the histogram. And that's the end of that question.